Yo, what is going on guys? This is Cyborg 92 here. Hope everyone have a wonderful day. One more day until it's going to be New Year. That means 2022 is coming up. Let me know who's ready. And today's video is going to be about how to prepare for YCS and regional. And any of other events that are going to be coming up. I'm super excited because this year has been a tragedy and can't do nothing about it. So please watch the video all the way to the end. You don't want to miss out. And I'll give you guys some valuable content for this video if anyone that play a uh, train card game of Yu-Gi-Oh. So coming number one, you want to have good sleep. Good sleep is really good. You want to get at least about seven or eight hours uh, usually. Uh, the more you sleep, the better you do in events. So there's time that like... I have less sleep and turns out I do misplay so if you go to any events if you want to do well like top or like win the regional or win a YCS or something like that or any other events sleep so important because that's uh, most of the energy because you will be playing for like about about like eight or nine uh, um, hours depending the rounds usually or even longer too. Coming number two hygiene you want to go have good hygiene you want to smell good uh, there's actually a policy from Konami. If you have bad hygiene, you can actually get kicked out, and you don't want that. And end of the day, we want to have good hygiene because, like, we don't want anyone to smell bad while playing. And it's really good that Konami made that policy about that. Recently, um, believe it was this year that they made it. Alright, coming to number three, uh, having breakfast. Breakfast is one of the most important meal of the day. Usually I don't get breakfast as much besides uh, for Yu-Gi-Oh events especially or or like school in general like tests. But breakfast is really good and make you play smarter, think um, better plays and yeah so you don't like stress out or you don't misplay because every misplay does cost you the game and you don't want that every like play does make a big difference because you want to make the best play as possible against your opponent and yeah coming number four money yes uh you need money um especially like flight hotel transportation cards like this essential needs probably play mats deck box well whatever essential needs um, so you want to bring enough money for everything because end of the day it will add up over time and usually events about cost like $20 uh, usually or 21 since you have to pre-register so bring enough money just in case you know coming number five decks yes bring your deck uh, it's so simple you want to see what deck you want to play end of the day and uh, yeah, um, just have your deck ready, your main deck, extra deck, side deck, and you're all good. I don't know you do play extra deck, but just in case you do. Coming number six, dices. Uh, you just need dices, so you don't have to ask your opponent, because like, sometimes people do usually ask. So you just need those wonderful dice right here. Um, but yeah, they're, they're doesn't work that much. Plus calculator, coming in number seven. Uh, yeah, just in case if you guys like ever like forget just buy a calculator case Calculator your dice. You're all set up like it's simple. This is what it look like you guys It's like not that bad coming number eight when you have cards that is foreign cards like different languages Don't forget to bring translations because those are super important if you don't have them you can write it down I don't think they don't accept phone. I don't think so because the last time I checked uh, They do on remote duel, but I don't think like uh, in real life tournaments They do because usually that will like kind of like break the deal kind of like I, I don't really know just like if you don't want to buy uh, cards like regular English cards, just just write it down or just like print out a paper. That's what people usually do uh, during back in the day. Point number nine, you need uh, your vaccine card or your test. Um, your test just in case you have any symptoms. Uh, within 24 or 48 hours, I would say probably 48 hours. Um, but yeah, because they are super strict and you need that because we all want the community to be safe as much as possible because this pandemic is still is a thing and it's very scary. So have that and then you're going to be all set to go. Company number 10, snacks. Yes, yeah, snacks. Uh, it can be any snacks you want. Um, but 
yeah any snacks you want so end of the day you do get hungry you don't have time to eat like lunch or something like that because like usually in a uh, in a tournament there's like 40 minutes after 40 minutes uh everyone's done they just um fill out the parents and then it's gonna be super quick by the time you know it so yeah always bring your snacks because you will get a little bit hungry so yeah unless you have a friend that's super helpful that's not playing an event will probably buy you um like a burger or or, or some kind of like lunch or something uh eat during round so that'd be really nice if you had that kind of friend like that i wish i do <laughs> come in number 11 medicine just in case uh if you do get like any like you don't feel really good bring medicine just in case if you don't feel really really good you shouldn't go to the events at all no offense because we all want to keep the community safe as much as possible but yeah usually i do get headaches sometimes time to time so that's why i usually bring my own medicine but yeah Coming number 12, water or any liquid, um, especially water, really good because uh, water is healthy. Uh, usually, I'm a Starbucks person guy, so I love Starbucks, so it can be any. Yeah, because usually you will get thirsty through the vent. Water, you can bring your own water bottle, especially. So this is a water bottle, you can refill it up. I'm pretty sure there's like a place that you can refill water or sometimes events they do uh, provide water to you. Like especially those uh, water cup thing I mean, number 13 you guys so back in the day people do steal cards i don't know if people still steal cards too today because the game is super expensive and yeah so best advice for you guys when you have a backpack don't put it behind you put it in front of you so something like 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 this guys like this you guys like you will be secure like I, it, it seemed weird but like it like safe because like in a day these cards right here are like so expensive okay like the cards right now i'm showing you guys it's not as expensive than other cards but like people who spend like hundreds of dollars of this game like i actually care about the game so if you don't want your stuff get stolen please put it in front of you like in a day there's there there will be people will be stealing and like it sucks. Like, I hear their story, like, somebody lost a whole binder in their whole decks. Like, that's, like, sad. And you just go to an event and, like, seeing that happening because, like, you just went there, waste your time, and your stuff gets stolen, you put the time, effort, hours, er everything. So, please put in front of you. Don't trust anyone else besides yourself. Like, even, like, you know somebody or, like, you met somebody. Like, don't trust anyone. Because at the end of the day, that will be, um your problem not not anyone else so best advice um hopefully that helps for you guys coming in number 14 bring your regular id super simple and your costly id as well i'm gonna show you guys what it look like it is a uh, official konami card game player so this is what you need if you don't have it it's okay um because like any day you will uh need this uh if you don't have it it's okay i really hope you remember your number when the deck list form you're gonna um gonna ask your cost id so that's really good and if you're a new player don't worry they're probably gonna provide you one because i was a new player before back in the day and they were super nice and chill and coming in number 15 deck list form sure there will be like deckless paper form you can like um signed up but i'll show you guys on dueling book how it's set up super simple easy it's a life hack and not that many people probably won't know or probably do know but like super lazy you're lazy like me it's okay i got you a life hack i'll show you guys right now hey you guys so this is another part for the deckless i was talking about so going go to duelingbook.com i'll put it down in the description uh once you have your deck being ready you go right here export deck then underneath KD decklist, click OK. Fill your name, date, last initial, Konami player ID, event, and then print it out. Then you're all good. And then there should be a pre registration slip as well as this one. You will need all the information you need to fill out. And then bada bing, bada boom. You're all set. You don't have to um, sit down. Then you just wait in line, and then you're all good. If you guys made a video all the way to the end, don't forget to drop a like, subscribe, turn on the post notification. Hopefully this video give value to you guys. And uh, yeah, your boy Starborn92 is signed out. Peace.